Hello, uh, in this video we are uh, going to discuss about the uh, mechatronics objectives and uh, the advantages disadvantages of the mechatronics. So here uh, earlier videos uh, we, we have seen what is mechatronics, what are the control systems, open loop and closed loop control system and the sequential control system uh, and what is that uh, automated micro based control system. So micro, all the uh, control systems so it, it helps to uh, do the works properly. Actually a system, okay, a system uh, is a one which is uh, have a physical components and it gives an output with the help of some process. So the process to be uh, done with a, in a control manner so that we are using all the different application uh, control systems. So in mechatronics, it will be a, a greater uh, achievements that accuracy and uh, the process, uh, faster process, it will be happening in all the industries. So let me see what are the advantages and disadvantages. And moreover, uh, where this uh, mechatronics can be useful. So in industry, if you see computer aided or computer integrated manufacturing, computer aided design computer aided manufacturing uh, all our company we call it as computer integrated manufacturing so uh, in industry uh, mechanical industry if you see why mechatronics is needed normally mechanical industry in the sense pure mechanical uh, once it was used now uh, everything is uh, integrated with electrical electronics and computer system to make of worker faster and to make the worker uh, quality with um, error free all the things it is happening nowadays so in a computer aided design if you say that uh, with earlier we used to draw with the help of pen and paper okay uh, then uh, to make if there is any change in the future again you have to rub we cannot rub it in, in uh, anything as a easier way and the computer aided drawing we can draw and save the files in uh, different folders so that and copy paste and editing option is also can be done easily like that uh, softwares uh, autocad or uh, solid edge and uh, uh, pro e models unigraphics all the things can be do the 2d into 3d suddenly the change of uh, two dimensional to three dimensional uh, it's a very easy application it comes into existence the computer is integrated with this manufacturing like that electronics is going to be implemented in uh, manufacturing also so computer integrated we can use uh, computer aided uh, drawing computer -aided manufacturing like uh, uh, in master cam software and uh, this uh, cnc there a uh, computer uh, basic thing where we are entering the codes and uh, the codes are uh, given to the machines so the machines get the information from the codes and uh, it controls the machines also like that the computer integrated manufacturing is one of the biggest uh, application in uh, mecha mechatronics application and moreover the manufacturing planning resource planning and job timing everything can be controlled with the help of the computer right so now uh, how these uh, applications of a mechatronic system in uh, everywhere it happens so what are the areas we are seeing not only in industry area uh, automotive machines so manufacturing of uh, automotive uh, machines so everything can be controlled on its own so the uh, robot system or automated sensor system sensing uh, automated guided vehicles nowadays in industries uh, these are all the things which is used in the industry areas uh, for the transportation uh, uh, transferring material from one place to another we are going to use some guided vehicles which is continuous which is uh, a made of pure mechatronics based system and uh, the xerox machine we say actually it is a xerox is a company but the photocopier machines we can call it as fax and photocopier machines it is one of the uh, very good uh, application uh, in mechatronics 
so you can see the uh, scanning what is to be scanned how many pages to be scanned uh, what are the uh, quality everything can be controlled with the there is a panel microcontroller and plc bo board so so that it can take the printer in a proper quality front and back number of pages all the things which are we are controlled with the help of our controllers and it is done and dish washers uh, what automatic washing machines so if once if you put in uh, your class then it uh, according to the weightage uh, weight of the mesh uh, products what is that uh, cloths it will add powder it will add uh, water it will control the uh, washing capacity what is that um, pH level and then it uh, dryer itself it takes uh, in that responsibility their air conditioning system elevator control system where we come to know we can set to the temperature required that's all in a room uh, continuously in a hall ac theater cinema theaters or malls everywhere the conditioners are controlled with the micro mechatronic system and uh, scanners in uh, ic manufacturing system integrated circuit manufacturing system itself uh, automated system uh, where uh, the boards where the diode should be uh, placed where the resistance should be placed over the uh, circuit boards how it is uh, made and robotics employed welding nowadays in me mechanical industries welding painting uh, inspections everything can be done with a robot once if it is uh, uh, inspections procedure if uh, it is fed automatically it will uh, with the help of the feedback of the output feedback the robo itself uh, it in make an inspection so that the timing for inspection is going to be reduced and the quality of inspection will be more uh, welding as well as painting quality will be uh, very good according to this uh, mechatronics feedback control system and uh, cd players vcr these are the applications where we are going and the advantages if you see there are so good advantages as we said so quality uh, product we can produce and the productivity is increases when compared to manual a uh, machine is running uh, continuously 24 hours seven it is uh, running so it will uh, give a more production with a constant speed so that is can be possible and uh, degree of flexibility is more uh, according to the setting what you are writing the program according to it will produce so flexibility of the design uh, flex flexibility of the programming is possible uh, uh, due to proper maintenance the uh, what is that uh, the life can be expected more on the integration of sensor and the control system is a complex uh, system which reduces the expenses starting uh, maybe we may put some more amount uh, in that initially that's what disadvantages area we will see here so when we are coming to the disadvantages initial cost what we are going to implement for a automated system will be more obviously so because it's it's need a um, input device it need a uh, computers it need more electronics components and the thing is uh, next uh, knowledge for uh, is very important uh, it should have a very good knowledge for the operator or a programmer in a different uh, field of engineering so for making a system it, we cannot uh, uh, depend only on one uh, field one stream only mechanical only electrical is not possible so different field engineering knowledge should be there for designing any uh, different components or different product so that uh, it needs and it expenses uh, uh, cost when when we are changing when we are already i am having only mechanical system or electrical system now i am going for a new change so uh, um, changing is uh, having a more costlier when we are going to incorporate mechatronics in the old system so better we will go for a, by a new system it's a fine and uh, the problems of uh, uh, various problems should be addressed various uh, separately we cannot uh, do uh, combinedly since each and everything is has uh, different works so these are all the main things uh, the application where we are seeing automatic mesh automotive uh, machines uh, for transport conveyor machines uh, we say belt conveyors okay all the elevators uh, and the dishwashers automatic washing machines scanners printers automatic cameras everywhere uh, the mechatronic system now it is uh, taking place 
and the advantages we said it is greater productivity greater flexibility good quality uh, and the effective utilization of machine can be done because 24 bar 7 it can be run and uh, it uh, can exceeds with a proper maintenance the disadvantages is costly and the problem uh, complex engineering field knowledge is needed more uh, for this so these are all the important advantages and disadvantages of the mechatronic systems right okay so we have seen about the introduction of mechatronic system what is what are the control systems so what are the mechatronic systems how when it is evaluated how it is evaluated and what are the disadvantages and advantages next we are going to see about uh, the transducers and the sensors thank you